Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and support our new movement by putting Let's Go Viral in the comment section. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But without further ado, here are your hosts, Nicely Chunga Benny and Greg King. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another quick NBA update video here on the Ball Fake Podcast, members of the Off the Ball Network. And in today's video, we got some good news for Clippers fans as John Wall has now agreed to a buyout with the Houston Rockets and plans to sign with the Los Angeles Clippers as a free agent once he clears his waivers. Wall was due to make $47.4 million this upcoming season as he was entering the final year of his contract, but in an attempt to find a more suitable situation for Wall, he agreed to sacrifice $6.5 million in order to sign with the team in need of his services. Now, the Rockets wanted to reach an agreement with Wall before free agency began this Thursday to maximize his options in terms of selecting his next destination. And given there was no realistic market for a sign and trade in regards to John Wall, the buyout market was the only option. And although there are still questions regarding Wall's conditioning and athleticism, he should still be able to fit the overall dynamic of the Clippers offense that's lacked the combination of a scoring threat who can also properly orchestrate in the half court setting in terms of distribution of the basketball at marginal to elite levels since the absence of Chris Paul. And now it may take some time for Wall to integrate himself back into NBA basketball given he was sidelined last season by Houston in an attempt to develop their young core in Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green and company. I wouldn't be overly concerned with Wall's declination given he averaged 20.6 points per game and 6.9 assists per game in 40 games in 2021 fresh off an Achilles injury and rehabilitation from his heel surgery and given Wall spent part of last season training in Miami and actively participating in team practices with Houston Rockets the concern with Wall getting back to his original form seems very minimal but hey you guys let me know what y'all think about this here in the comment section will John Wall be a key contributing factor to the Los Angeles Clippers title hopes next season or will this experiment utterly fail in drastic measures but hey you guys let me know what y'all think about this here in the comment section thank you guys so much for tuning in to another update video with me here on the ball fake podcast if you're new to our youtube channel or listening on any other podcast streaming platform make sure to like comment and subscribe turn on post notification give us a five star rating and a nice review on all podcast streaming platforms but besides that it's your boy nicely chunga benny you're listening to the ball fake podcast and we out praise god